Hi everyone, I hope that you're doing well. I am very excited to be filming today's video because it's the first in what I'm hoping is going to be a running series throughout the year where I kind of do like a monthly check-in and update on how my journals are going and give you a flip through of everything. I don't think I've ever made a video like this before. I did like a 2023 wrap up sort of video, uh, but I haven't made them monthly before. And I just thought it'd be fun to do it this year since um, I have introduced a Hobonichi Hon in my lineup uh, and I'm having a really good time with it and I thought it'd be nice to kind of share my experience inside it, how things have been going, um, how I've integrated it with the rest of my system, uh, what's worked, what hasn't all of that uh, and kind of give you updates. Um, it's also just really cool because the entries are daily, there's just so much to see in a month, um, definitely more than there is in like the weeks or my, my journal. So I thought it'd be fun. Um, it's probably going to be quite a long chatty type of video, so maybe get yourself something to drink. I've got some tea. Um, this is Bad & Blend's pumpkin spice blend I believe. Um, it's just with a bit of milk uh, and it's really really good. Uh, it's very autumnal but I've just, it's comfort, com it's been my comfort tea this autumn and winter. Um, so quick rundown of the lineup for anyone that isn't uh, familiar with it. Um, obviously as I've said the Hobonichi on uh, in the A6 is my new addition to the lineup this year um, and this is my daily journal. Uh, we'll go more in depth about it in a second. Uh, then I have the Hobonichi weeks for planning. Um, I just do all of my practical planning, my to-do lists go in here. Um, I have a regular size traveler's notebook, grid notebook. Um, this is not the actual traveler's company one, but it is just that, that standard size. These are from the brand Wanderings. You get them in packs of three. Um, they're just easier to get for me. Um, and I like the fact that the paper is a bit more cream than the standard traveler's notebooks. Um, so I've really been enjoying using these. The grid is also quite light, so it's nice to, to write on. Um, I also think that Traveler's Notebook ones don't have the rounded corners. I think that's cute. Um, love the craft cover. So I'll leave the name of these linked below because I always get questions about them. And then I have a Moller's Keen uh, pocket notebook. This is a relatively recent edition. Um, I introduced this into my lineup in late November, very early. Yeah, late November. I think I've got the date somewhere. 29th of November. Um, so I've been in here for two months and it's just my on-the-go notes type of notebook. Um, so I'll just give you a quick flip through. Um, there's really not, not a lot to see there. This is December and January. I'm nearly halfway through now. Um, it's just lists, uh, study plans, things that I don't want to forget. Uh, there's a drawing in there. Um, I've been doing some weekly timetable type spreads. Um, I mostly do these while I plan for the week, not so much it's not so much something that I refer back to throughout the week, but more something that helps me visualize the week while I plan to make sure I don't put too much on my plate over the week. Um, I love study trackers, that kind of thing. Basically anything that I would otherwise put on a post-it or in my notes app on my phone, uh, which would then inevitably get lost or I would forget to look at it, goes in here. Um, and it's just, it's a really nice size. I also keep some baby clips here at the back. I like the fact that they've got the pocket. It's very handy. It fits everywhere. Um, and again, you get these in packs of three. They're just, they're more dangerous because again, they're the cheapest and um, most easily available to me, but I really like these. Um, I'm gonna give you a quick flip through of the weeks and my journal first, and then we can get into the Han because there's kind of the most amount of stuff to see in there. Uh, when it comes to the Homonichi weeks, I've been using this since June or July of last year um, and I was for about six months before then I was in the Traveler's Notebook Weekly Plus Memo um, book so very similar setup I guess in terms of setup I've been using the same setup for a bit over a year now um, and it hasn't really changed that much um, so I moved into this book the first week of December and I we can skip to the first week of January so you can see the actual month. Um, I just have a very simple setup with day specific tasks in the days, um, a running weekly to-do list on this side which includes a mood tracker and then I keep a filming list at the bottom here. I don't always use this, I don't set it up every, every week but it is a nice use of that bit of space. Um, and I'll also link 
or like try to leave every um, name of the shops of the stickers that I use in the description um, because I can't pronounce all of them so I'll just leave them down uh, for you um, to check out but if you have questions about any specific stickers you can leave them below. Uh, so just very simple setup, it hasn't changed, it's just very practical. Uh, I need to go back and draw out the lines uh, for the moon trackers because I forgot. Um, so this is last week and then this is this week, which is the last week um, of January, kind of going across February. This is a busy week, as you can see, there's a lot going on here and there's a longer list. Um, I've also, I'm sorting out some notes for uni, so I've added a tracker for that, so I can just cross off the lectures as I go through them. And I do have this stuff digital for the most part, but it's nice to be able to check them off in here as well. Um, and then in the calendar, I don't think there's much to see. Um, I probably only wrote down exams on my dad's birthday, to be fair. So this is December, slightly decorated. Yeah, there's nothing interesting to see for January. Uh, I don't think I've written anything in February yet. Oh yeah, my exams, but nothing else. Um, I used to decorate them a bit, but I don't use this spread a lot, so I've just left it. Um, and then at the back, I did a little intro for December, January and February. I'm splitting up the back pages in kind of quarters, um, considering them starting from December through to November of 2024, because I assume in December I might move into the new weeks. and. The only reason I'm doing that is because I keep running lists and like running pages of things that I like to update and always have on me in these back pages. However, it was just a bit much to keep up with for, for the whole year, like I set it up last year, um, just because it's difficult to estimate how many pages I might need for something. And so I thought splitting it up in quarters would be easier. Um, see, now I, I left four pages for uni, but I really don't think I'll use up all of them so for the next section I'm only gonna leave two um, and then I have a wish list um, I have things to check out like links and stuff uh, a running to film list which I don't use a lot of because I've realized I just write that stuff down in notion um, I had a list of stuff to do over the holidays some things I wanted to do in January some of which I need to cross off um, an artwork tracker that I need to update and then some art ideas and some common some things that I wanted to, to add to my common place. Um, so not the most interesting book, but a very practical book and one that is probably the most helpful really <laughs> because it keeps everything uh, kind of on track. Uh, when it comes to my journal, I actually haven't been using it a lot. Um, I was expecting this to happen because the way that I use this journal and the way... This is number seven, I think. I completed six last year. Um, the way that I've been using this for like a year or so now is as a mix between a journal, a commonplace book, um, a memory keeping book. There's pretty much everything that doesn't go in the weeks goes in here. Um, and because I have now started doing daily journal entries in the horn, I knew that all of the memory keeping aspect would move over here. Um, and also some of that daily thought kind of aspect that I otherwise might have written down in here uh, has moved to the horn. So this has become my primary book. Um, it's the one that I upkeep every evening or every other evening. Um, and this has become a bit more of an accessory rather than me my primary book, which I feel like it was last year. Um, and I'm happy with that, I'm fine with that. I think I'm really happy just with the fact that I know that the book is there for me when I need it and it's not something that I need to work to upkeep. Obviously this is, um, but it's something that ha has been really helpful and I'll get more into that in a while. Uh, but all that to say, I haven't been using this a lot. I started this at the end of December, so it's basically all of January in here. And um, last year I was finishing a book every month and a half to two months uh, and now it's the end of January and we're not even halfway through. <laughs> we're, well, nearly halfway, um, but there's not, yeah, there's not that much. Um, there's a little bit of writing about zines. This was a topic, with, um, an article that I copied down about zines as well. Uh, because I'm thinking about zines and uh, especially at the beginning of the year I was thinking a lot about wanting to make a new zine. I still am, 
However, the sticker project is taking over for now because I've been thinking about wanting to do that since the beginning of December and I really want to just finish making these stickers. Um, so that's something. And then some thoughts about index cards. Um, you can see them there in the corner. I am working on that. I'm going to make, well, I'm going to talk a bit more about them in a video at some point this month. The long story short is that they're meant to be like a, an art inspiration and ideas archive um, but I'm just now starting to feel like I have enough to properly show you and explain how everything's going to work so we'll do that in a video at some point this month. <laughs> And then, so again, here I was talking about index, card, index cards, his painting I made, a painting that I really liked. Um, I've mostly just been writing about the artwork that I've been making, but even then, it's not been a lot. Um, I'm, I'm glad to have this. Um, I'm glad to have a place where I know I can just blurt out thoughts where I, whenever I need it. However, I really haven't been making much of an effort to do that this month, and I definitely want to do it more next month. Um, mostly just because I realized that over the past couple of days I've done a couple of big bit of a, like brain dump type entries and I also did a January recap and February plans type writing thing um, where I wrote down like a list of everything that happened this month and everything that I accomplished um, and I wrote down some things that I wanted to work on next month and it's really helped clear my head and I don't think I'd realized um, just how much I needed that um, because for the whole of last year basically I did this sort of entry every, every couple of days um, and having only done it a few times over the month really put into perspective how much it was actually helping so I'll, I'll try to put more effort into this next month and that's one thing that I want to change for February um, hopefully gonna finish this book I think that would be a nice a nice goal uh, and then the the exciting bit. Uh, also, I forgot to mention, I'll also leave the um, sticker dots that I'm using to um, categorize entries in here. They're from Oh My Creativity on Etsy, I believe. Um, so I'll leave the shop link below. They're really, really nice colors. Um, so this book, <laughs> it's a really, really cool book. I am so glad that I decided to get this. I realized at some point last year that I wanted a place to do daily memory keeping and I figured I would either go for the A6 or the A5 but the A5 is really daunting it just feels so big I don't think I would have I, I don't think I'd be able to fill up the page every day um, sometimes definitely but other times or well, like most days I don't think I would and I was a bit worried when I first moved in here that it was either going to be too big and I wouldn't even fill these pages or that it would be too small and I would realize that I actually would have been better in the A5 but I think this is the perfect size so far I am having a really really good time with it um, I gave it a bit of a test run in December so I'll show you those pages first even though I have showed them before um, there's 14 blank pages at the back of the book. <laughs> They're just like grid pages like the rest of them, but they don't have the quotes and they don't have the dates. Um, and I thought I could use them to kind of try out the daily entry thing and get used to doing daily entries um, throughout December. Obviously I didn't do it daily because there's only 14 pages and I started on the 6th of December. Um, so I only did a daily in the last few days. However, um, I think this started giving me a bit of an idea of the size of the page even though this was bigger um, because it's lacking the quotes and the margins and all of that so there is more space to write um, but it was it was a good um, I don't know a good trial run I suppose I kind of started getting used to the paper which is the new Tomo River paper uh, which the weeks doesn't have yet I covered up a picture here um, and it was it was a nice test and it got me used to the idea of updating a notebook this regularly uh, and then obviously in January I actually started the proper pages so I have um, a, an illustration from Mega Rhiannon here at the beginning I also have one of my own prints at the back um, because it, it just matches it really well and I saw uh, someone did it with this postcard as well they have the same the same horn book um, and they tagged me and I thought it was really cute so I did it as well um, and then I did something really cool with the calendar so the first few pages I haven't used I 
don't really think I'm going to. Maybe I'll write down um, when I post YouTube videos or something, maybe I'll start tracking something here. I know some people use these, ha use these as habit trackers. I've not done that, um, but it might be a good idea. But I did do something cool with the actual calendar. Now, this is something that I thought I wanted to do even before I actually decided to get the book. Um, the idea was just to do a small daily doodle. Spoiler, it was not a daily doodle. Um, I did maybe the first week daily and then I did the rest of it in three or four chunks, um, which is fine. I'll try to be a little more consistent this month. Um, however, they are mostly related to the day, or at least like I try to do all of them from a photo that I have saved on my phone from that day. Um, so here I was watching the Queen's Gambit. Uh, here's technically meant to be one of those flowers that I bought the other day. Uh, view from my window, um, an eye from a picture that I'd saved, things like that. Um, and I actually really like it. I'll try to be a bit more consistent in February and actually do them daily. Um, it's a bit chaotic, it's a bit messy, but it was a cool exercise and I quite like the format. So February is blank so far. Um, you can, there is a little bit of ghosting, um, but I don't think it'll be too, too distracting. Um, I think it'll be fine. So I'm gonna do this again in February. Um, I have seen some people do it where they paint as well, but I don't trust the paper enough. <laughs> and I also definitely wouldn't keep up with daily paintings. I can tell you that much. Um, so obviously the rest of the calendars are blank. I also didn't write anything in the Turning the Page to a New Year spread. I don't know if I will, um, but I didn't really feel like I had much to write. Uh, I wrote down some like intentions for the year in Notion, but I don't know, it's not like a big deal. It's not something that I wanted to put in here, so I didn't. Um, January like cover page, I put down a picture of my cat that I really liked. Um, I think I'd printed that. I, I think I'd printed this out, um, and then I didn't know where to stick it, and so I just put it here. And then again, this is one of Megan Rhiannon's trackers um, that I decided to use as an art making tracker. I wasn't set on like a big goal of making art every day this year. Um, but I do want to make more art and especially because I was kind of in a bit of an art block in December I made art only a few days throughout the month. I really wanted to make an effort to make more art this month uh, And I definitely did I drew something 21 days out of 31 this month, which I think is pretty good um, And I have put another tracker in the cover page for February already so I can do I can track the same this month um, so that's definitely something that I'm carrying over. I really, really like it. And again, the little sticker dot um, is the same kind that I use for my commonplace book. Um, and it's uh, just the color that I use to track art related things. So actual daily spreads. Um, first, can we just say how beautiful is this orange? <laughs> I feel like this is probably my favorite color. Uh, and it's it was just a really nice way to start the, the month. Uh, or the year, I guess, in this book. It took a while to start figuring out how I liked laying out the pages, but the way that I sort of do it is, obviously I write in here, there's no tracking, there's no um, to-do lists, there's nothing of that kind. Most of it is just writing about what happened that day, if I had any ideas, if I was working on any projects, if I was just studying all day, uh, if I went out with friends, uh, what we had for dinner, if we had something nice for dinner, um, something that I might want to, thought of, to, to think about, something that I maybe have thought about throughout the day, that kind of thing. Um, and then here at the top, I'm kind of using the check marks to track um, what I'm watching, what I'm reading, um, the time that I'm spending studying, the time that I'm spending working, that sort of thing. It's not a very strict list every day, but it is something that I track. Like if I watch something and really enjoyed it, I'll mark it up here, that kind of thing. So I it took a while yeah, to, to figure out how I wanted to lay out the stickers, how I wanted to lay out the pages. I'm doing a mix of things now, um, but I am really, really enjoying it. Um, here was um, a business card from a friend that I from uh, yeah, from a friend. She sent me a, a package. We did like a little art, art exchange. Why can I not talk? <laughs> we did a little art, art exchange um, and she has a really lovely 
uh, business card so I put it there and that's a couple of her stickers as well uh, again tracking my studying over here uh, this was the, the during the holidays already so there's not a lot of it but it is still marked down cute picture of my cat I will say I don't like the fact that it's here I wish I'd stuck it in first and then maybe wrote down until the very end of the page which I didn't but it's fine um, this is a really cute picture we were taking down the Christmas tree and she was not happy about it <laughs> we were terrified when we were putting it up that she would climb inside it because we haven't done it in a couple of years because the first year we did it when she when we first got her she used to climb inside it and now she's so big that if she climbed inside it she would just make it topple over uh, but she was really good about it and she liked sleeping underneath it and she was angry at us when we took it down uh, a picture of Nana from the, the anime series because I watched that over the holidays and I really enjoyed it um, and here I'm trying out something different. Uh, so I'm trying out a few different layouts with the photos and stuff. Um, and I am I think this is the first page where I've used the sequin line to kind of split the page and write about two different things. Um, so here I was writing about having finished finished watching the show. And, and then here I guess I was just talking about what happened during the day. Um, yeah, some, some painting related things. Um, went out with my mom, that kind of thing. So... Oh, no, actually, not when I was with my mom. I went out to do, like, the big food shop uh, because I just came, came, I just come back here after the holidays. So that was kind of it. Um, I was tracking something that I painted, something that I was watching, which was the film, the, the series. So, yeah. Um, having a big brain fog moment. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Um, again, here tracking some reading. These were fakes, not books. Love them. And I also sometimes, if I have two different things that I want to talk about um, in a single page, I will just leave a blank line in between. I think in a couple of spots, I might have actually drawn a line in between them, kind of like here. But uh, there was more of an arrow pointing towards the picture because I was talking about the picture. Um, but mostly I just leave it blank um, and I start over in the next line with a different topic. Uh, or if it's something smaller, I'll put it on this side. So I do quite like the flexibility of these pages. There's a lot of cool ways that you can um, make different spreads and I've really, really been enjoying this. Um, this page is maybe a bit cluttered. I will say I do prefer just having one picture. I think this was a bit much, um, but overall it's kind of cute. Uh, this was the only space that I left blank. I actually wanted to draw a chess piece because this is when I first started re-watching or like the day that I was re-watching The Queen's Gambit um, and I ended up making some art inspired for that, uh, inspired by that but I wanted to draw a chess piece and I never did it. <laughs> I might go back and, and redo it at some point. Another little painting that I made, I was probably talking about that there. Um, I will say the only thing uh, because I have the Japanese version of the book, the only thing that is a bit confusing about it is the fact that the days on the actual daily pages are not written in English. Um, so I just go by the number really, but it would be nice if they also had it written uh, in English, which admittedly I got the Japanese version, I can't ask for it, um, but it is written in English in the monthly calendars, even on the daily columns, so I'm not sure why not on the dailies. Um, this was just another very wordy, wordy page. Um, here I was talking about the index cards, I think. This is when I first received them and set them up, I think. And then I actually really like this spread. This is a very busy one. This page is a very busy one, but I love this painting that I made. And then on this day, a lot happened because I had an exam in the morning and then I went... Um, so I was writing about all of that stuff. And then I went to have um, vegan burgers with a friend. That's a really, really good place. That's called Flower Burger in the city. They make like colorful vegan burgers. Um, so I took a picture of that and stuck it in as like a flap and added a sticker that kind of related to that. And then in the afternoon, uh, I very impromptu went to see the boy in the heron with a friend so i stuck down the, the poster for it which admittedly i could have put on the next page didn't think to do that and then i also put down the ticket 
for the, the movie ticket. I wanted to clip it with a paper clip at first, but then I tried it and it made um, writing on the next page is really hard. So I just suck it down with three sticker dots. Uh, those are from a, a roll that I got from Stationery Pal. It's a roll of lilac and green sticker dots um, and it's holding up fine. So I actually quite like that. Then a very muted color wise spread. I actually quite like this. Um, it feels very simple, very straightforward, very wordy. Uh, I printed out some of my Inktober stickers again because the first time that I printed, I accidentally printed them on regular paper instead of sticker paper. And so I didn't have any that I could actually stick down laying around. Um, and then this is a very cute one from a set that I bought in France at a museum um, that's inspired or like based off of Van Gogh's paintings uh, so I'll leave that link below as well I have the website for them uh, and they're really really cool uh, my dad's birthday I covered up a picture because um, it's a really cute picture of my dad and my grandma um, and my grandma always turns out terribly in pictures this is a lovely one but I figured she probably wouldn't want to be shown on the internet um, and again I put down a little cake sticker. Um, again, I was striking something that I was reading, a bit of studying, a bit more reading. Um, birthday cake again for my dad. Um, another very wordy spread. I realised, um, I thought I was going to be a lot more, um, I don't know, I thought I was going to do a lot more decorating on the daily um, and I have been writing a lot instead. Um, I didn't think I would write so much. I didn't think I would have so much to write on a daily basis, but I apparently do. And I'm not doing that thing where I'm forcing myself to fill the page. Um, like if I finished a thought and there's two lines left, I will come up with something else to add to it, but I'm not uh, like naturally just wanting to write four or five lines. Um, so I'm happy with that. Uh, I will say it's fine if I end up leaving some pages mostly blank if I don't have anything to write down, uh, if it's been a particularly strange day, I don't know. Um, but for now it's not happened yet, um, so that's cool. Um, no tracking on this day because I had an exam that went weird. Um, I passed it, it was fine, but it was weird. Um, and then I spent some time with friends, so I just mostly wanted to talk about that um, cute little confused sticker face. I'm not gonna lie, this might be my favorite spread. <laughs> um, I really like the layout. Uh, I went to study at a coffee shop because I had an errand to run and then I thought, well, I'm out and I'm dressed. I might as well just go to a cute coffee shop near the place that I need to run errands at um, and grab a coffee. I actually grabbed a tea and a muffin and I had uh, a really productive couple of hours, which I normally don't have in, in cafes. I always just get really distracted. Um, Thank God for noise cancelling noise cancelling headphones, um, but I it, I thought it was cute and I wanted to put it on the page But I thought it looked a bit weird. Um, I think I tried putting it on the side Maybe it was on this side, but I didn't like the fact that it was covering up today And then on this side, I didn't like the fact that it was still covering up some of the top rectangle So I thought I'd just stick it down the middle um, this probably is not a very smart way to use pages regularly just because I feel like sticking things in the middle really adds to the bulk um, and probably throughout the year will put a lot of pressure on the spine but I have heard that the horn books help like hold up really well to the bulk so I'm hopeful uh, that it's not gonna fall apart <laughs> um, it does feel very sturdy to be fair and also I'll show you um, in a couple of minutes, but it's not been too, it's not become too bulky. Um, it's actually been okay. I've been worried about that, but it's, I'm, I'm a bit calmer about that now. But yeah, just a really cute spread overall, I think. A couple of tiny little stickers, 10 out of 10. Um, this one is also quite cool. I was working on the intro animation. Um, I spent like two days over the weekend working on it really obsessively. Um, and I love how it turned out and I thought it'd be cool to put like a beginning stage and end stage type of comparison. Uh, also finished the last of the tomato soup that I batch made over the summer. Gutted about that, wish I'd made more, wish I'd made bigger portions as well, <laughs> taking notes for next summer. Um, a lot of studying, a lot of working on the, on the little gif. And then here's another one of Megan's trackers. This is uh, a song tracker. Um, I've actually, 
I did something similar again yesterday, I think, but I just wrote it up here. What was it? Oh, here. Um, I wrote down my studying, I wrote down my editing, and I wrote down listening to, um, and I think I prefer this. These are really cute, but they take up a lot of space on such a small page, so I think I'll start doing it the other way. Um, really cute pictures that I took on the bus of the flowers that I bought after my last exam. Again, just a lot of revision going on. Um, another really beautiful picture that I took the other morning. I took a similar one this morning again. That was a beautiful sunrise. Um, and I just had to stick it somewhere. I, this was actually from last week, but I forgot to print it out. And so I stuck it down for yesterday's page. Um, and then that's the end of January. Um, I've done a little bit of decoration for the cover page. I haven't printed out a picture yet. I don't know if I will, um, but it could definitely fit over here. Again, the art tracker and a little... Uh, these are my Inktober stickers. Um, I, I really like the keys and I thought it fit well here. February also has a really cute colour. It's like a dark kind of muted green type of colour. I really like it. Um, in terms of the book, it's pretty good. It's definitely noticeable. Um, I hope it's focused. It's definitely noticeable uh, in the month where I've used it, but if I squish it down, it's fine. And it's not, I don't know, it's not too bad. It's fine to write on so far. Um, I think when it will start to become a bit more evident will probably be by June or July. Um, the thing with these books is because the pages are so thin, I feel like, that's gone out of focus, okay. I feel like because the pages are so thin, there's a lot more potential for bulk, for bulk because if uh, uh, another book was this same thickness with thicker pages, there was less, there would be less space for me to stick pictures on, and so there would potentially be less bulk in it. Does that make sense? I feel like I explained that terribly. Uh, big brain fog today. <laughs> Don't know what's going on. I'll go have another coffee later. Um, but it's been fine. You can definitely s tell. Uh, when like flipping through the pages, they're, they're they're like weirdly rigid where I've stuck things in just because the Tomorrow River paper is so thin and it's so like flimsy and bendy I suppose. Um, but I will say I really like the new the new paper compared to the weeks. I have pen preferences now. Um, I've ha I've been having a great time using the Zebra Sarasa pen. This is uh, from the vintage set. It's like the 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 black the dark grey um, that I got from Stationery Pal Box. Um, and I love it in here. It, it's like writing with butter. Love it. 10 out of 10. I also have been using it uh, in my journal. Perfect. Fantastic. It dries a dream. In the old Tom River paper in the weeks, it smudges so bad. I don't think I... I'm, I don't know if I, you can see any of it because I only tried it a couple of times and I realized how much it was smudging. I think I did this spread with this pen and I had to leave it open for like 15 minutes before it was fully dry and I could close it um, and like not smudge everything. Here, here I did smudge it. Um, and there were a couple of other incidents over here as well. Um, there too. Um, and I think in another couple of places I just covered it up with stickers. But there too, I don't know what happened. I. Yeah, so in my weeks, I've just been continuing to use my Muji pens. Uh, these are the 0 0.5 in black. I have been using them for a long time. I just get refills. Um, they're great, but this is a smoother writing experience. So I do prefer that at the moment. Um, and so I'm just using it in every book that is in the weeks, <laughs> basically. Um, and I, yeah, it's been a really cool month. Uh, journaling wise I'm really really happy with this book it was everything that I was hoping it would be which I'm really glad for um, I'm really glad that it's that the size is working and I'm hoping it's going to continue to um, just because the A5 really wouldn't be practical I have this dream about the A5 I see people using it in videos and I'm like this is so beautiful there's so much potential for beautiful spreads but I know that I wouldn't fill it um, so I'm sticking to this. I'm having a wonderful time in this. Um, plans for February, stick to this again. Um, I am going to continue tracking art making. I'm hoping to maybe do 25 days, 24, 25 days in February. That'd be cool um, to only miss, miss like a couple, especially because I'm trying to get this sticker project finished um, 
I'm not even halfway through. I talk about it as if I'm nearly done. I'm not halfway through, but I have been working on it a lot this week uh, and I just really want to power through it. Uh, but also I have a lot going on with exams and stuff. And so I think the best plan for it is just to chip away at it a little bit every day. And also I find that that's the, the thing that keeps me most inspired. So want to keep doing that, want to keep journaling daily. Um, as I said, I've sort of been doing these every night um, so on the night I'll write about the day, so obviously today's page is still blank, but tonight after dinner I'll, f I'll fill it up. Um, I oftentimes I leave blank pages for pictures uh, just because I don't have a printer here um, and mostly I just print pictures out at the weekend when I get back to my parents or when I go to the printer shop, but I don't want to just get a full A4 printed for one picture, so I kind of collect them up throughout the week. Um, Definitely want to make more of an effort to write more in here. Um, I'll update you on how that goes. I um, I just really want to do it. If anything, I just want to write more about my ideas. Not just keep them in here, but take them from here and elaborate on them in this book. Um, and also, I want to be more consistent with this. Instead of doing it a couple of times, like every couple of weeks, I want to actually try to do it daily or nearly daily. Um, so those are kind of the goals for, for February, I guess. Um, I'd love to know how your month was, journaling wise. Uh, if you have any goals for February, uh, has your system been the same since the beginning of the year? Uh, has it been what you thought it would be? Do you want to change anything? What's been working? What's not? Uh, feel free to, to ramble on about it in the comments. I would love to hear it and have a chat about it. Um, and with that being said, I am going to stop rambling. My battery is also flashing and I need to get back to studying. <laughs> so I hope that you have a really, really lovely rest of your day and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye!